in case you know some HTML, then most probably this is not how you started learning. Most of the times you start with the HTML element. Imagine the HTML element as a container for almost all our code. The HTML element has a start tag and end tag, and all the content is inside there. This is how the HTML element looks like. HTML, and of course, we close this. So this is the start tag, and this is the end tag. It has a forward slash, and uh, this specifies that this is the end tag. We discussed in the previous video about tags and elements. In case you missed it, make sure you watch it first. If I put all the content that we have now inside, you will notice that it doesn't make any difference. Let's try this. Let me cut all this and I will put this inside here. Okay. So if I save this now and I go back and reload, you see that there is no difference. So as a conclusion, HTML doesn't really care how you structure the document, whether you include the HTML element or not. If you want to follow the best practices though, then most probably you should include it. The next element in the list is the head element. Again, think the head element as a container and the same idea applies here. If you do not include it, it will still work. The head element contains mostly information that is used by the browser and search engines. Usually what you have in the head element is not directly displayed in the page. So let me try this. I will go below here and I will say head. And of course we have to close this. In the head element now, we need to have our meta tags. So let me take the only meta tag that we have and move it there. So cut this and paste it there. All right, so again, if I save and I go back, nothing is changing. In the head, we can also include the title that will be displayed at the tab. Let's set the title to video three. So, another element here, title, video three, save, go back, reload. And you can see here at the tab, it says video three. HTML gives us the option to include attributes as well. We have already seen an attribute. The meta tag has the char set attribute right here. All HTML elements can have attributes. Attributes provide additional information about an element and are written as name value pairs. They have a name, which is in this case, it is char set and a value, which is UTF-8. One of the attributes of the HTML element is the lang attribute. As you can imagine, the lang attribute specifies the language of the document. So let me do this, lang, en, which stands for English. But again, HTML doesn't really care about this. If you include this, then that's fine. If you do not include this, then it will still work without any problem. But to follow the best practices, let's include it. If you're wondering who is using this, then one of the answers is the search engine. Google, for example, can use this to match pages in a specific language. All right, so we said that the HTML element is the container that almost everything is placed inside there. Then we said that the head element consists of information that is helpful for the browser and search engines. We still have this, this is a test text, and we need to put this somewhere. For this case, we will need the body tag. Again, imagine the body tag as a container for our texts, images, drop downs, checkboxes, and all that good stuff. So let me put this text inside the body element. So, body, and of course we have to close this. And I will take, actually I will take all the text that we have right here and I will put this inside here. Okay, so if I save and I go back, again, nothing changes. However, just now we follow the best HTML5 practices. 